follow. If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Bring in some of that royalty. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? And what the goddamn hair you leak. So, <clears throat> this is a story time from Shadow Greatest. It says, I can't believe I just got R-worded. Y'all see what it say. That word right there, which y'all can't see my mouse because it's stuck for some reason. But yeah, the R-word. Let's get it. No, no, make you pop. What? If I be greatest and welcome back to my YouTube channel, y'all. Your girl is back again with another YouTube video for you guys. As you guys see by the title, girl is gonna be doing another story time. Oh no, nah, that mic is crazy. Mike is crazy. Some tea. I recently moved less than a month ago. Before I decided to move here, I kind of was like, damn, this is an apartment. I live in the house. I feel like just like it's pros and cons with living in a house, it's also pros and cons with living in an apartment. Absolutely. I know my privacy is not going to be the same. In the beginning, I'm already accepting it. When I first moved here, I noticed it was a lot of young people that live in my neighborhood. These people that live here. I don't do the young people neighborhoods. I don't like them. Because damn near my age. Let me just keep an eye out, you know, because when you're young, sometimes you get into stuff. I'm home. I just happen to be taking a nap. When I nap, I nap in my bedroom. But today, I just decided to nap in my living room. Family, I'm sleeping. I hear a car alarm. But mind y'all, I'm asleep. So my dogs is literally barking. They bark loud enough to a point where I kind of just hopped up like, what the heck going on? Like, duh, duh. But it stopped. So I'm like, oh, okay. Probably somebody trying to figure out where they parked. Went back to sleep. I didn't leave. I ended up staying at the crib. 7, 8 o'clock. My boyfriend get off late. So I'm like, okay, he probably not going to be here until 10, 10, 11. My boyfriend finally pulls up. I'm outside having a conversation. Babe, I'm so happy to see you. Da, 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 da. How was the drive? I don't know. Where. He's like, babe, where's your car? What? It's out here. I parked. He was like, I don't see it. Hold on. So I'm looking around. I'm like... <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna lie. The worst thing ever is to go outside in that car gone, boy. That car gone, boy. That's why I pay for valet everything. I don't care. I'm valet me, please. And hopefully, the niggas ain't working with the damn valet. <laughs> but, like, most of the time, you know, I'm at a, a, a nice place um, where, you know what I'm saying, it's not too bad. Yeah, I know the mic bad. I know. And it don't make it no better than she yelling, but this is probably a good story. It's real bad. I'm like, I'm rubbing my eyes at this point. My job is nighttime. So my boyfriend, he like, hold on, where are your keys? Get your keys. We go in the house, get the keys. I'm turning on my alarm. I don't hear my car. Where I parked at, it's glass. Did I get my car stole my job i literally just started owning that car a couple months ago i don't have no notes on it this is my bread and butter i immediately started crying i just moved here it's not that easy to just pack up everything again and go somewhere else i've okay. already been here for almost a month i doubt i'm gonna get a refund from the lease yeah, office nice. i don't want to live in a world i really can't believe this just happened i have a key option Lately, it's been something called the Kia Boys. It's Ooh. only Kias and Hyundais. All the other cars, their ignitions is different. Kias and Hyundais can literally start the car up with a USB cable. No nah, cap. That's crazy. I called the police. Getting my van. Yo, starting the car with a USB cable is crazy. Number, my um tag number, like, I gave them everything they needed. The police officer is like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Lately in the area, a lot of Kias specifically has been getting stolen. This past couple of months, I've been going through so much personal stuff. The last thing I expected to happen was for my car to get stolen. I own my car on top of that. So that means any damages to it, that's on me aside from insurance, of course. My mind immediately thought, even if I buy my shit and get it fixed, it can happen again and again and again because the ignition is not going to change. I said a prayer. I was so upset and enraged. God, find that car this instant. Like, I need you to get that car this instant. They need to find my car in this 
face. Right now, like, girl, I'm talking to God like he one of my peers. Like, nah, I find my car at once. My boyfriend ended up spending the night. We literally did a whole walk around the neighborhood. We even drove in his whip around town. And I was just clicking my alarm, clicking my alarm, clicking my alarm. Kind of got a hold of myself. And I was like, child, calm down. This is totally out of your hands. You already told the police. They already like Driving around town clicking is crazy. (laughs) But I get why she did it. Because, child, I would be pissed nothing you can do i cried myself to sleep like my boyfriend is literally holding me like babe it's okay you know let it out fast forward the next morning because i know joy always comes in the morning babe and i got a call at 9 a.m i answered the phone hello this is such and such from geico i'm thinking they finna talk about my claim i'm like bro i don't even want to talk about this shit like what's up like your car has been found i say you're lying you lying. You lying. You lying. You lying. Are you serious? Yeah, and the condition is fair. They said it's in fair condition. Unfortunately, we cannot cover your car. So it's like I was getting good news with bad news. I have full coverage. I've been paying full coverage for the past couple months. Like, I'm not understanding. Full coverage and compromise. I ain't gonna lie. Insurance is a motherfucking scam. Like real shit all up. Hints of coverage is different. What? Full coverage covers accidental. This was F. Vandalization. Are you serious? Unfortunately, this has been happening to a lot of Kias. It's going to be a $2,500 repair. So I've been paying insurance. And now it's actually something wrong with my car. And y'all saying y'all can't cover it. I wasn't even behind the wheel when this happened. So I got to pay off. I heard in LA you don't even need insurance. Like you ain't even got to get it. Couldn't argue with you can if you, you want to, like, but you ain't got to. Like, I can't put a gun to his head and say, cover my vehicle. So I just left it alone. Thank you. Might be not with them anymore. Next month, this month, going into this next month, I don't want to be with guys going nowhere. Because that's bullshit. I'm knowing I'm going to cry even more when I see the actual damages. I find out where my car is. I went to like this tow zone place to go pick up my car. It was like five minutes away from a crib. Oh, it's going to be 125 to get it out the wall. Oh. I didn't ask for my car. I got to pay $125. For a car that, excuse me, my car that was stolen. Oh. I get told I didn't ask for my car to be here. Now that I'm trying to pick up my car after all of this mayhem, and you're saying I have to pay $125 to get it out, I didn't cause my car to get stolen. I, I paid it because I-, I needed my car out. I said, I'm knowing when I see the damage, it's going to break my heart more. So I'm about to show y'all this right now. I could not believe my eyes. Damn. What the f- Look how they, like, they stuck that shit in the ignition. Oh, I will be so pissed. Like, they took my whole shit off? Like, how do you know you could just Bruh. do How do you know that you what could the- just do that? I guess because the ignition, when you take all that shit off, is just a USB. Girl, oh my God, bro. Nah, that's crazy. My car was spotless before the incident. Now look, just a mess. Bro was so comfortable, he managed to stop and get beverages. Uh. In order for you to drive it to a body shop, you cannot take the USB out. So I literally had to keep the USB in there as I'm driving to get my car fixed. I'm on the phone with the courts. I'm asking them what's going on, who did it. They got somebody in custody. I got a call early in the morning. This is such and such. I'm a, I'm a victim advocate here at the courthouse. Okay, yes, I understand. We have the person in custody at juvenile detention center. Wait, 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 wait. wait. And he a child. Juvenile Detention Center. Ma'am, are you telling me that my car was stolen by a minor? Yes, ma'am. He's well under 17 and years old. I can't give get you any information now. He has a court hearing tomorrow. Girl, I was the first one on the Zoom call this morning. 9 a.m., this is a Zoom call. You will be able to see. Unfortunately, if you wanted to sue, you cannot sue him. You have to sue the parent His or guardian. Because I showed oh. them was going to sue. Especially after my insurance said they couldn't help pay for it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Somebody got to cough up. Because this is wrong. I attended it this morning. Ask me how old bro was. Juvenile Detention Center. 13. All rise. Here we have da 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 da. That nigga was nine. Want to share her name? Nine. All right. Nine. 
11, 13, 14. Yeah, I think past 16, you are down. And my name, China Willis, as the victim. They say his first and last name, and he's 14 years old. 14. 14 years old. He's a eighth grader. <laughs> oh, damn. I, I ain't gonna lie, I wouldn't have, I, I wouldn't have sued the parents. Y'all, yeah, if especially if y'all parents, man, these kids it's crazy out here, dog. What? The shit going you on. You really gotta laugh to crazy, keep from crying y'all. about this shit. Did yeah. I just get jade by a middle schooler? First, he didn't get charged as an adult. I'm already mad as I'm already knowing whatever sentence they give, bruh, is gonna be a slap on the wrist because he's 14 years old. And his mom was on the call too. So they're talking to the mom back and forth. I'm like, oh yeah, me, her name. <laughs> You're getting sued. Your son is a menace to society. Like, it's over for her. I wrote her first and last name down and took a picture. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't yeah. Have seen her. A win is a win. Dad, I don't want no love. Lunch money. I'm trying to get the stack. This person has That's caused fucked. me mental distress. I know a lot of As I told up. y'all, moments <laughs> after it happened, I, I had an entire mental breakdown. My insurance told me that they couldn't cover it. I'm suing. I need that. I need that. This is why it's funny, Chad. Because, girl, if I saw him, I would have took my bill out and spanked that ass, babe. I would have spanked that ass. I would have spanked that ass with a belt. Cause you're a kid. Like, I can't even I can't even up the blicky at you because you're a kid, bro. <laughs> my car is currently in the shop right now. I took my car to a dealer who I always <laughs> go to whenever Somebody I need my car fixed that. or updated, whatever. He always fixes it for really good prices. However, I don't know how much it costs. Like it was tears rolling down my face. Like he snatched out my review mirror. He my steering column up the auto body shop people told me why you snatch out the rear view mirror for what sir <sighs> fortunately if you keep the steering column when you get in a car crash if you ever get in a car crash the airbag might not even come out so now my 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 life is in danger an uh, airbag is there to protect you from you know what i'm saying hitting your face on the steering wheel why i couldn't tell you i couldn't tell you why he took i out agree my with that be mindful of the kids and their habits i i agree with that 100 nigga you driving my car without Which checking the review mirror that's dangerous like, hold on now hey driving without Axe. crashing like nigga. I don't know about y'all, but I need my rearview mirror. Like, I got to see what's going on behind me. Also, I have my entire car tinted. I don't know. It's like Brad tried to make my car look different from any other Kia. But he literally tried to take off my, my tent. He tried to take off my tent in my front window. Like, I can see in the top right of my window. It's literally peeled off. Like, it's peeled off. Like, it's like one side of it, one whole side of it is tinted. And then that over had here, it shows him, like, hands, pulling yeah. off some of it. To make it look different. I don't know why. Bro literally cost me more than a little bit. The USB shit. I gotta get a new column. Whatever. Fuck it. But bro. Like you trying to take off my tent too? Like now. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all better than me. Cause I wouldn't have paid for that car. I would have trashed that motherfucker. And I just would have went and got him. I get my car back. My tent gonna be looking crazy. Now I, I get, get it. My- Cause don't nobody want no damn note. But. With me and that kid. Huh? This First of all, Sue Kia. Bad hey. time. Like, I have to pay over $2,000 to get something fixed that I didn't even do. I wasn't even present when it took place. Y'all see how fucked up this world is? Insurance is a scam. Good news is my car is in a shop. It's fixable. $2,000, that's not even a full car. You know, um, it, it, it might be a down payment on a new car. But I own my car, so I don't mind getting my shit fixed real quick. Thank God I'm able to get it fixed. Protect your kids. Protect your kids at all costs. I advise you guys to get a steering wheel lock. You can get it on Amazon for like 30 bucks. Maybe take your battery out your car when you leave your car. What I'm worried about right now, I'm not necessarily upset about it happening because I feel like it could have happened anywhere. But I'm a, what I'm upset mostly about is it happening again. And is that steering wheel lock literally going to save that for real? Because if so, I'm going to go ahead and order one on Amazon. I don't know if I need to go to Kia and see if I can trade Pretty my car in for a push start. Just got this. I don't know. That really completes the Right. Is it, a, it, is it the push starts too? Um, I just really told you guys the story time to just bring awareness. You feel me? People are stealing Kias and Hyundais. Not Hondas. 
Hyundai. So H Y U N D A I. Hyundai and Hyundai's are two separate different cars. Made this story time to bring awareness. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Pray for me. Send me good luck. Send me prayers. Um, I don't know how how many years I sent it to them. Um, I, I believe the 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 court date that I attended this morning. It wasn't a trial. I think it was something called a adjudication or something like that. They denied him bun. They denied him getting out on his ankle monitors. Not only did he steal my car and damaged it severely, he also had two pending charges already. Before the theft of the car, he's going to be held. Um, and I believe next month, February 9th, if I'm not mistaken, they're going to send him to trial. <sighs> So, that's kind of why I'm calm right now. It's still bothering me because I don't have a car this week because my shit is getting fixed. But I'm just happy justice is being served. They said that, that he's a threat to the community. I hope They're she They're charging moved. him as a felon. It's a, it's a felon charge. I don't know how long he's going to be in there, but girl... I don't wish nothing bad, but, bro, that's fucked up. I don't steal. I'm respectful to everybody. So, for him to do that to me at such a bad time in my life, like, I recently moved to this neighborhood not knowing anyone. I don't I don't have, I'm not, I'm not close with my neighbors. That's literally the only thing I own. And, bro, took that from me. That's, that's bad. That was, that was bad on me. Okay, y'all, I'm, I'm going to end things on these notes. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like yeah, I said, Kia bad. drivers, Hyundai drivers, they taking cars. They, they cranking your shit up with a USB. So, make sure y'all... Do what you got to do. Proper preparation prevents piss poor performance. Make sure y'all watch out for y'all cars. Peace and blessings. Yeah, that's crazy. There's too much going on in the world, man. All right, y'all. Let me know what you're thinking down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.